All right, what's up, Amayan? In this video, we are going to be dual booting Windows 11 with Kali Linux. So let's download Kali Linux for this. I will provide the link in the description so you can download it for yourself. Simply click on download and check for this installer images. We have the Kali Linux 2024.4 version. So here is the installer and simply click download. Save the file and now the ISO file of Kali Linux or any other Linux that you want to use. You can download it from there for and for making the bootable usb we are going to be using a tool called ventoy i will provide this link in the description simply download the windows version of ventoy also the latest version click on this windows.zip file if you're using windows and hit save now the downloads will continue all we have to do is wait for these downloads to complete and then we can proceed ahead Okay, so both of our downloads are complete. Let's just extract the uh, Ventoy first. Here we have the tool extracted. Simply open it up in the Ventoy to disk. If you get in prompt, simply say yes to that and you have Ventoy right here. In this case, I am using a USB disk, so USB device. So I'm just gonna plug in my USB, hit refresh and we have USB detected. So this is the simplest way. Do not have to change any settings. Going with the defaults if you already have Ventoy installed simply update it which you can see i already installed just to install linux mint on my uncle's pc oh i'm sorry laptop simply open Ventoy again and hit install this will delete everything but if you already had Ventoy installed you can just hit update the button update button and it will not delete anything at all simply update the Ventoy in package so if you are using for the first time, it will delete everything and create a simple partition for Ventoy to use. And in the future, you do not have to update any install or make bootable USBs anytime soon. Okay, so you don't have to format the disk again and again. Just simply one Ventoy install is enough. Now let's OK it and let's copy this Linux file to the USB disk. This is how it works. You don't have to make bootable USBs again and again. Simply just copy the ISO files to the USB disk which you installed Ventoy on for once and it will work it will make that USB bootable for all ISOs which are currently stored in that USB. You may which means you can make multiple ISO files in one USB. Okay now let's just Wait for it to do its job or just speed it up a bit. Okay, now it looks like our work here is done. Let's check the USB if the, yep, the ISO image is right there. Now we have successfully created a bootable USB of Kali Linux. Now let's make a separate partition in case where we need to install Kali Linux. I have already created it and I'm sorry I will now create it simply select a volume and hit shrink volume you can use whichever you want just make sure that you have enough space for it uh, actually Linux requires about 20 to 25 GB but uh, I am not going to give it all of it I am gonna keep 50 GB for my local disk D to store my data and the rest which is 37 or something GB I'm gonna install Linux on it so let's see how much do we need uh, okay something's wrong with it I, I think I am going to need a calculator for this because I don't know the exact values in uh, megabytes so let's type in something like this no I, I don't think this is correct so I'm just gonna Cancel it. Let's extend this volume to. Yep, here we go. Now let's change it. I'm gonna need only 37 GB. I'm gonna need 50 GB on my local disk. Z. Uh, we are going to need a calculator for this. Okay, let's just calculate it right here. So I'm gonna need 51. GB and 10 MBs on and the rest I am going to type it here let's just subtract uh, subtract it and 
yep i need 38 and these mbs now we have 50 gb of local disk d and the rest is the free space do not create a volume right there simply keep it as an unallocated disk now all we have to do is restart our pc and boot from usb okay now i am going to boot into the bios of my laptop yep i have a new laptop now the previous one was i5 third generation this is a i5 fourth gen and i know i don't have money to buy better laptops but these are all i have okay now let's go into the boot menu this is the boot sequence right here simply select the smi usb disk and set its priority to the first here we go hit apply and exit exit the saving changes oh yeah if you have if you your laptop can do one-time boots i also recommend that my laptop can do if i press f12 i do not change the bio settings i can simply boot one time from usb when your laptop starts yeah mine takes a lot of time i don't know it takes about 30 seconds to boot from bios i don't know why why this is it. if you know hit me in the comments so i can fix this problem as soon as i can okay now laptop is booting up pressing the f12 key gives me the one time boot menu if you does not give you the one time boot menu you can go into bios and change the usb priority to the top now I have this one time boot menu and I'm going to select my USB and now it boots from Ventoy. Select the ISO image and select boot in normal mode. Here we have the graphical install. Enter the graphical inter install because command line I don't know you know the command processes. Even I don't know about how commands work here. I rely on graphics. So English language it is US American English. The default ones this will automatically configure the keyboard layout and it is now detecting and mounting installation media which means it is preparing files for installation all we have to do is wait for it loading all of its components and this will take a little bit of your time depending on the speed of your USB and your laptops USB port we are waiting and waiting and waiting please keep in mind that during installing Kali it requires you to have internet connection i already have an ethernet plugged in so continuing with the ethernet port now i'm gonna choose the wi-fi now this will see if we have the internet available yeah yeah you need internet to install this but linux mate does not require internet only Kali does keeping the defaults right there Kali domain name is also going to be what should I have a domain name I'm gonna type in my own name here yep that's good let's go there type in my this is a user account so if you use this these you will need them to in the login process okay let's type in the password the password is oh, I, sh I should show you the password nah I'm not gonna show you the password okay let's configure the clock going with the defaults again now this is the main step this is where you select that partition where you just created in Windows so you can install your Linux on it and you don't have to erase everything on your so use the guided use the larger the first option and this will automatically select the free space the unallocated space that, that you created but however if it does give you uh, something wrong and it's not selecting the partition that you just create you created for it so i recommend that you go go and change that manually to change it select the partition you have and select this one the root how about I should show you right now let's see how I am going to show you select the partition where you want to install your however uh, let's change disks 
I don't know what I'm doing. Well, actually I do know, but I'm thinking I should show you the entire manual process. If it does not automatically detect the free space, just like it did right here, which the partition that you created, simply double click on it and change the mount mounting points to the root file system like this and hit continue and change select the last option and continue now you have selected the partition where you want to install your curly linux on it go into manual and select it right like i did right here but i recommend that you go to this section if you have created a separate partition the unallocated partition that i created in the windows system you will not get this problem simply use the guided per option and this will automatically see you see these are the same partition which was unallocated and now it is automatically detecting detecting it and installing kali linux on it and now you will have a boot dual boot system you can have windows 11 alongside kali linux and vice versa you have both of the systems on your laptop and use however you want it now this is installing kali linux all we have to do is wait for the process and maybe i should skip it speed it up a little bit you can change your desktop environment but i actually recommend that you go with the default settings because those are the best for anyone so the installation will continue and now we'll see the installation is now complete if you get any problems you can go back and change those desktop environments or the tools settings uncheck all of them and install it clean install now once this is done unplug the usb and hit continue this will clean up all the files and your system will reboot once it is rebooted it will ask give you the option to choose you from kali or windows the first option will be always by default selected as kali linux and you can change this in your ms configurations but i'm gonna keep it as it is so I'm not gonna make this video any longer that it needs to be and damn my laptop is very slow at startup okay now it is booting thankfully it takes a lot of time and i have to have the patience for this okay we the first option is always selected as curly and the third option is the windows second is the advanced options and this is the uefi firmware settings also known as bios so we do not have to go anywhere simply select the first option which is Kali Linux and now we are booting into Kali Linux for the first time. Please keep in mind that once it is booting for the first time it might take a little bit of your time but once the first boot up is done well it did not take much time. Now let's type in the username which you created during the startup and type in the password. Make sure you did not forget that if you did you have to delete this whole partition and install this process again. So Keep in mind all of your passwords. Here we go. We have the Kali Linux installed as dual boot. Now we can select on startup if you want to boot into Windows or Linux. However you please. This is how booting, dual booting your system works. Once you have installed your Linux, the first step, the first step that you have to do is just type in, open up the terminal and install updates so i am opening this, this terminal and typing in sudo su to give me root access which is the highest privilege type in my password now we can see we have root at kali which means we have root access on this laptop and terminal if to update i am using this command apt space update hit enter this will update all the packages that are already here you can see we have a lots of up upgrades to fully upgrade it type in apt space full dash upgrade i will make these commands very clear in this video now type in y hit enter this will hit agreement and all you have to do is keep the internet alive and wait for this 
to fully update the system once this is fully updated simply restart your system and you will have fresh latest up-to-date Kali or any other Linux that you created using this video anyway that's been it thanks for watching this will take some time to update and I will catch you guys in my next video Toto bye bye goodbye